What's going on guys? My name is Zach and today I would like to show you how you can do the number generator using Unity Engine. So this one is very very easy to do. You don't need any kind of sprite or any kind of difficult stuff for programming. It's just very easy to do. So if you open up your project, you will receive this thing if you put on the 2D. Make sure you create the 2D project. And then right here what you need to do you need to put on you need to set up your canvas or your scene so right click on your hierarchy click on panel and then you will see this panel for this purpose i would like to use the black color and then i will increase the transparency to 100 percent and then you can see there is a panel but something happened here which is you will see the blue uh, the blue side or the blue color behind the panel so how to make this one disappear so it's very easy to do click on canvas go to the canvas on the spectre panel click on the space camera drag in main camera into that thing so you can see it's still blue but maybe less than before so now go to the canvas scalar scale with screen size make sure you hit this as 0.5 and then yeah it's perfect now the next thing is you need to put you need to set up the slot number so to set up the slot number click on the panel right click on UI and then click on the text box or text so you can see your, here is your text put one digit number let's say 10 and align it into middle center and then scale this thing into square okay now change the color into any, any color that you want for this purpose i use white and then scale up a little bit so you can see the number right there so now reposition your number slot into the middle of the scene and then you can duplicate it as many times as you want so for this thing i need to duplicate it about one two three four five i think five and six okay put it on top okay so we have six number generator or number slot not number generator number slot and uh, yeah a little bit uh, I really suck at this okay so we have one two three four five six number okay so now the next thing is you need to set up the button the play button so to do that you just right click here click on ui click on button and then name this as start okay now in start button you need to align it here and change the text of the button into start okay so now you can see that very small okay Align it a little bit so you can see it. Okay, you can see that. Start. Okay, now duplicate this button and then name this as stop. Also, the text. Stop. Okay. Okay. Uh, stop. All right now we have two buttons here so now you are already done for the setup let's go for the script so for the script it's very short the first thing is you need to include using unity ui because you will need to attach the script into the ui which is in this scene is a text box so now in every text box what you need to do is you want to make each of the text box generate the number in random when you click start and then when you click stop it will stop at the time when, when you click stop so here you can see I have created the char of array and then in the array we have 0 until 9 so the, here is a number and then I also include the public text slot machine which is you will need to attach, attach your uh, text number into this uh, variable and then I will 
and then here I have uh, declare the time which is you can put the time to delay the stop of each one of the box never mind maybe you cannot understand I will show you how it works later so in update function I have put the slot number text I mean your uh, box the text box equal to the array of the number which is the number of array will generate into a random so random range number length so if you put number random if you just declare like this number random uh, dot zero it will only do it, it will only show the index of the zero and then if you put one it will, it will generate one so if you put like this numbers random random dot range zero until the length it will keep on generate number until you click stop yeah that's why I put like this so I only I also add two string because the char cannot be displayed on this slum num the, the text because it's string so you put it into two string so now whenever you click play the number will start showing the each one of this array in random uh, sequence so how do I stop that thing to stop that thing you need this script which is off and up so on off enable what it do what it does is it will invoke the delay number function which is enable that false according to time that you set up so the enable that false is the way that how you can stop the update function from keep on running the random number you cannot stop the update function because it's a loop to stop that thing is you just disable this whole script when you click on the button so that's why you invoke button that delay number num dot time uh, comma time you will invoke this delay number function according to the time and then the next function is public void enable which is you will re-enable that script to generate random again which is on enable so that's all the script you need and then we go move on to the scene and then you can see here is the text box in every text box you need to select all the text box and then drag num slot here so now you can see in in every each of this text box there is a empty slot number section so just drag in like that okay just click on it there and of course this thing and of course this thing and this thing also and the last thing here okay so now you can see there is another uh, field here which is time this time is for delay so maybe you not understand but never mind so I will show you later and then here on the start button you need to click how many number you have one two three four five six so just click six time one two three four five six time and then in, in each of one of this on click function just drag one by one of your number okay one two three four five and six and in each every one of these you need to right click uh, you need to click on the non function into num slot and then click on on enable because you want to on you want to start generate a number just click on 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 enable yeah I'm very sorry about my English because I'm not very good at English. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes not. I hope you can understand what I'm showing here. So now, after you have put this thing, you need to click another to on enable on click event and then drag in the start button to here and then click on game object set active it into false because if you want if you click the start the start button will disappear and the stop button will appear so drag on the stop button right here oh sorry and then click on here game object set active into true so when you whenever you click the start button the start button will gone and the stop button will appear and then you want to copy this component mm, copy component and then paste it into this thing paste component values and then here you just inverse it 
and uh, for the stop button you need to disable it first and of course you are gonna highlight all these number slot and disable the function or this quick now when you, when you hit start okay you will see the number is zero zero when you hit start then you stop it will not happen it will not stop yeah why maybe I have something wrong here uh, yeah on the stop you need to change it into off enable haha <laughs> sorry about that off enable num slot off enable num slot off enable okay and yeah so all set up let's get into it again okay start stop you can see that start stop start stop okay so now you look good so now how you can how can you make one number appear at one time so to do that it's very easy as you can see here there is a time um time panel so this is used for delay how many seconds that you want to stop so for this i just make an average uh, every each one of box increase one second so the first box is zero second box going to be one second third box going to be two and here is three and here is four and here is five so that's all when you click start start again and stop it will generate it will start one by one number at a time start again stop again yeah so that's it guys i hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you have anything to ask please let me know in my comment and then yeah that's all for this time i hope you like it thanks for watching